In their never-ending quest to destroy healthcare in America, the Trump administration is now arguing in court that insurance companies should once again be allowed to deny coverage to people with pre-existing conditions. The Justice Department says it will no longer defend provisions of Obamacare meant to protect people with pre-existing conditions, arguing it is unconstitutional since Congress repealed the individual mandate. That means if you have ever had cancer or been pregnant, or been treated for anxiety, or depression, or had acne, or, you know, lived your life at all and ever gotten sick for any reason, an insurance company would be able to refuse to sell you health insurance. The Affordable Care Act made it illegal for insurance companies to refuse coverage to the more than 130 million Americans with pre-existing conditions, and this has proven to be one of the most popular and helpful parts of the law. If Trump gets his way and that protection is repealed, tens of millions of additional Americans could lose coverage. And today in the United States, 30 million Americans are already uninsured, and 41 million are underinsured, which means they have insurance, but it's in name only. They can't actually afford to use it. So this would make a bad situation even worse. Trump and Republicans in Congress have made it their mission in life to destroy the Affordable Care Act by any means necessary. Thanks to the hard work of everyone who called or wrote their member of Congress last year, they were not able to fully repeal the law. So now they're trying death by lawsuit, again. Luckily, California and 16 other states, including the state of Vermont, have stepped in to defend the Affordable Care Act. But this fight is far from over. Our job is to defend the protections for pre-existing conditions and make healthcare a right to everyone.